Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Orchis Yosher in the letter Tov for Tefillah. And we are expounding upon these beautiful ideas that he has of just how potent and important our prayers are. Well, in the Shulchan Aruch, in the Shulchan Aruch, it says the following, the very beginning. A person should strengthen themselves like a lion in the morning to serve their Creator. And just like a lion sleeps many hours a day, approximately 20 hours a day, but when it wakes up, it's as fresh as could be. He's roaring, he's ready to go, he's full of energy. So too, when a person wakes up in the morning, they have to be roaring and ready to go, full of energy to go and serve Hashem. The cost of our Mishnah and the Mishnah Buhr writes over there, if you wake up in the morning and the Yetzirah comes to you in the winter time, Loi Marni says to you, How can you get up this morning? It's so cold outside. Stay under the covers. Stay there. It's comfortable. It's warm. Don't worry. It's so cold outside. How can you walk? Maybe he'll come to you in the summertime and he'll say, how can you get out of your bed? With such a late night last night, the sun goes down late, you were up late in the summertime, you don't have work, you don't have school, you have so many activities going on, you're wiped out, you went to bed at 1 o'clock in the morning, you have to wake up for a 6 o'clock shachris, a 7 o'clock shachris, go back to sleep. Says the Chavetz Chaim, you have to strengthen yourself against that Yetzirah and don't listen to him. Rather, you should think to yourself the following. If I needed to wake up and go and serve before a king of flesh and blood in this world, how quick I would be to wake up with all the alacrity necessary early in the morning and prepare myself properly to go and serve him. I would certainly I would get up early, I would take care of my needs, I would go to the restroom, I would take my shower, I'd get myself dressed the way that I need to look in front of a, a bus of a, in front of a king of flesh and blood, and I would make sure I get into my car and I and I drive with enough time to get there so that I'm on time, maybe even a little bit early, to make sure that I wouldn't be late for the king. All the more so, all the all the more so says the Chavetz Chaim. I am going now to stand in front of the King of the Universe, Hakadosh Baruch Himself. Uh, certainly, I need to wake up on time. I need to prepare myself in advance for davening. I need to show up to shul at appropriate time, not running in late, not leaving early. I need to be there, ready to go with energy, my eyes open. The the yawns have already gone away in, in the car or the walk over the shul. And I am ready to serve HaKadosh Baruch in the morning. Ad Khan Lashonu, those are the words of the Chavetz Chaim. Now, I am a Mishnah Bura, and he writes, if you look inside the Mishnah Bura a little bit further, it says, Even if you don't wake up for nates, which is the earliest time to daven, at least you need to wake up half an hour before davening starts, so you can prepare yourself and come to davening at the right time. It's brought down that the, even when Rav Eliashiv Zatzal, who was one of the greatest leaders of our generation. He died at the ripe old age of 102 years old. When Rav Eliyashev was already in his 90s, or maybe even 100, he had, an, he had a very intense schedule that he kept for something about 70, 80 years of his life. He would go to sleep at 11.30 at night, and he'd wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning, and then he would learn basically all day long with the breaks for davening and for eating and for being with his family. But he was learning basically all day. And he woke up every morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. So somebody saw him when he was about 99 years old. His alarm clock went off at 2 a.m. He immediately, immediately opened his eyes and he took his covers, his sheets, and he pulled them all the way down off of his legs. And then he jumped out of bed and he went on with his day. So somebody asked him, Rav Yashav, how is it possible that you wake up and you pull your sheets down so quickly like that? What's, why, why do you do such a, a big act like that? So he said, because the Yetzirah is so powerful, 
even after 80, 70 years of the same schedule every single day, you never know how he's going to try to get me to stay under those covers, stay in bed like the Mishnah Brewer says over here, you didn't sleep enough or it's too cold outside. So I know the Yitzhahara, he said. And therefore, every morning when I wake up, I pull the sheets off of me immediately so the Yitzhahara can't tell me, stay under the covers, it's more comfortable, it's warmer over there. And they say the Chavetz Chaim once was waking up in the morning to go to Shacharis, and the Yetzar came and visited him as well and told him, I'm a Chavetz Chaim, you're an old man by now, you're 90-something years old, you've been davening your whole life, you always come to shul on time. No, now you're an old person, you take your time, you'll get to shul when you get to shul, don't be in such a rush. So the Chavetz Chaim said to the Yetzar, Yetzar, you're a lot older than I am, and you're up before me, certainly I could get up myself. Hashem, if we treat our davening properly and we give ourselves the appropriate amount of time that we need to get ourselves ready to be prepared to be in shul on time oh, not like running in not running in and running out and our mind is all over the place but rather really in a way where we have our mind is settled and we are calm and we're relaxed and we have energy and we're ready to go and Bez Hashem, it'll strengthen our tefillahs and if our prayers are stronger, then the, what we accomplish with our prayers will be stronger as well. Have a wonderful day.